This quick tips video goes through how to calibrate your radio receiver in Betaflight. You need to do this to ensure your radio is sing sending the full control range to your flight controller. If it isn't, your quadcopter won't fly very well at all and you won't be able to get the best performance out of it. You'll need to do this if you find that the endpoints on your channels are not 1000 and 2000. You can check whether your radio receiver channels are calibrated correctly by going into the receiver tab on Betaflight and you'll see this table. If your receiver is bound to your transmitter correctly, when you move the channel sticks on your transmitter, you'll see the channels move correspondingly on screen. In this way, you can check your endpoints. If you find that your endpoints are not 1000 and 2000, you can calibrate them in your radio control menu. The exact way to do this will change depending on your transmitter. Here we are using the Flysky i6. You go to the endpoints menu on your radio and select the channel that needs to be adjusted. You should find two values, one for the lower endpoint and one for the higher endpoint, and you can switch between these values by going between the extremes on your radio stick. Once you have selected one end, you can adjust the value on the radio until the endpoint on the beta flight screen is equal to either 1000 for the lower endpoint or 2000 for the higher. Don't forget to save the setting after you're done. With most radios, it is unlikely that you'll need to calibrate the midpoints as this is done at the factory. We will go through some details here nonetheless, as you may need to do it if one of your potentiometers on your radio wears out. However, if your endpoints are correctly set to 1000 and 2000, the midpoint will likely default to 1500. This is where we want it to be, and as an example of an uncalibrated channel, you can see here that our roll channel is some way off. To fix this, we need to go to the subtrim menu on your radio. In this case, this is through the function setup, and then we go to subtrim. Here you can select the channel that needs adjusting, in our case channel 1, and simply adjust the value until the midpoint on screen is as near to 1500 as possible. This will jump slightly as the signal is not perfect. Once this has been done, don't forget to save the settings on your radio. In the case of the FlySky i6, you must press and hold cancel to save. Slightly counterintuitive, I know. And that is basically it. It's slightly different for the throttle channel, as this doesn't have a specific midpoint, but you can still adjust the endpoints if needed. Thanks for watching and please check out our written article on our drone chess blog, the link is included below and if you want to see more videos from us please like and subscribe.